caption sewers, I hope you are fine. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee, and on my channel you find lots of videos on sewing techniques, refashioning of old or even new clothing, and I also have a segment where I show you garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn. So if you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So I am going to be refashioning this top. It's going to be a, a simple tutorial. Um, there's not much sewing that's going to be involved in this. Um, the reason I was drawn to this was the sequins that are in here and also this butterfly detail. I just think it will look amazing with wearing with a polo neck. I was thinking of mixing it with this, this top, um, somehow, but I gave it some thought and I thought, no, I don't think it will work. I really don't. So I'm saving that for another project. That's one. Um, so yeah, I'll save that for another project. So we're just going to focus on this top. And the first thing I'm going to have to do now, though, is remove the beadings because the bead the beading around here is it's just not nice i don't think it's anything for the top whatsoever there's also some up the hemline and i think it just weighs it it's, it's quite it's a little bit weighty so it's the weight is coming towards the front and not the back so there isn't a balance um, and there's no beading around the back when it comes to the armhole just the hemline and the neckline so i'm going to remove that and I just think it will make it look a little bit more, um, more me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I am going to be putting like little tassels um, at the shoulders. I'm going to be using some brown ribbon. I was looking, I was hoping to use cord, but I am trying not to buy anything that I don't need because I've got lots of ribbon and I just need to use them all. So that's what I'm going for. And I've got stoppers that go at the end of it. It's a very dark, is it black or dark chocolate? I think it's very dark chocolate um, that'll go at the ends. So that'll be inserted at the end of the ribbon and they will be dangling down like so. So let's see if this works. So what you're going to need for this project, the supplies, are going to be some stoppers. I've got eight stoppers here. Some ribbon, there's about five meters here because I buy my ribbon in five meters. So you may need more, you may need less. A safety pin so that we can thread the ribbon through the waistline of the top and also some scissors for cutting the ribbon. And also you're going to need a seam, a seam ripper because you've got a lot of beading to remove from the armhole and the neckline. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is perhaps remove the label. All those stitches are really small. Oh, I think I've got a starter here. Yep. And it's just gently just teasing it open and then cutting the thread. And just do the same on the other side. Okay. The next I need to do, next thing, is to remove the beading because I just think it's they're horrible and they don't do this top any justice. I've got a little bag here in which to make sure that my beading don't fall onto the floor or roll off my table and, and fall onto the floor. We don't want that to happen. Right, okay. So make sure that all that is in there. And let's see what happens. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to be here some for some time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it in, in little increments. 
Yeah, that's better. So I've managed to find the, because it's a chain stitch and if you can find it, it makes it a little bit easier to get the beading off. The moments where I've been stopping and starting. And it just means I've got to find another opportunity, if you like, in which I can release that and then get the thread then pull and then they all just fall off. It makes the process a lot easier. A lot easier and a lot quicker. I have removed all of the beading around the neckline and the armhole. I've kept it at the bottom um, because that will offer a bit of weight to this kind of fabric, this mesh fabric, which you know doesn't really have any weight to it. And I'm going to sew a line of stitching all the way around just to create a casing because I'm going to be putting the ribbon along through the bottom of this as well as at the shoulders. So let's get started. These are all my beads. We're now ready to sew on the ribbon. Um, let me see, let's see how much I'm going to need. I'm going to go roughly to the length of the top. Okay, get my scissors. Cut there. And then cut another strip for the other side, like so. Okay, so the ribbon is on the shoulders. That looks pretty with that. That looks pretty already, actually, without the stoppers on it. Um, and I have also sewn into the hemline. It looks a bit plucky, but it's not, it's not a good quality <laughs> fabric or top. Um, so, but I just love this detail here. Anyway, so the next step is to thread ribbon around the bottom of the top. And we have to create little holes. Um, I'm gonna use my seam ripper for this. A little opening for each on each side so that create a little hole and do the same on the opposite side. It's just, it just needs to be small and then repeat it on the other side. There should be no frame with this fabric that I'm using, I've got I should say. So I just can get the pin head through and also the ribbon. Okay, put, if I can find the hole, put the pin head into the opening you've just made and then just start threading the that through. That's it comes out the other end like that.
and repeat to the other side. So now we have the rhythm on the shoulders and also along the bottom of the top. Um, it will be a case of just tying a knot on the side. I would actually try this on first before you decide how long you want these to be. I want mine to be pretty long. like so and do the same on the opposite side Okay, happy with that. So next step is to fold the ribbon in half and then just put it through the hole like so, come through the other end and knot it about as many times as you need to so it doesn't go, it doesn't come off. So one, if you're using cord you probably won't have to do it this many times but it really does depend on how big that hole is I've gone four yep seems fair I'm going to do one more with that just cut that bit off and then do the same for all the rest the top is now complete I'm wearing it with a polar neck I don't think it's the right shade of brown for this um, I, do, I do like the tassel effect this 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 effect <laughs> Um, I do think it works. I'm not sure whether it works for this project though, that's the thing. Um, yeah. I don't think it's a fail. Um, would I wear it? I would, because I would definitely try different coloured polar neck to see if that would help enhance the top a little bit. But I do like what's happening um, at the hemline of the top so here's the hemline I do like the fact that I pulled it in and I think it helps gives the scalloped edge to stand out just a little bit more I'll show you the back um, I do like the movement that's happening when I walk in this top um, and I probably add a couple more of these tassels on here so um, yeah, like I said, I'll definitely be refashioning, not refashioning, um, styling this up in one of my um, videos where I'll show you how to style certain items together. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do share on your platforms. And if you're new to the channel, then do consider subscribing. It really is worth our subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed and you've been following me, following me for some time then I really would appreciate if you subscribe and I will see you in my next video.